Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to run a really powerful 24-7 Minecraft server with 100 gigabytes of RAM for free. You see Minecraft servers cost a ton of money to host, and even then the server can lag and it's just a shit experience in general. But luckily there is a solution. Oracle Cloud is a cloud hosting service which allows you to run your own Minecraft server for free and it is super powerful. It's complicated to set up though, so I'll make this tutorial as simple as possible to understand. And if you find this video useful, please subscribe because it really helps me out. Let's get into the video. Firstly, you will need to go to signup.cloud.oracle.com and put in your information. Select whichever region is closest to you and it will ask for a payment method, but this is only for verification and you won't be charged. Next, go to the navigation menu, click compute, instances and it'll bring up this page. You may need to click compartment and then click whatever comes up. Click create instance and name it whatever you want. Ignore everything until you reach image and shape. Leave the image as it is, but change the shape to ampere and set it to 128 gigabytes of RAM and 24 CPU cores. Click create new public cloud network and your settings should match mine. Save the SSH key. Make sure to download the public and private key. Then simply click create and you'll be ready for the next step. Your server will say provisioning, just wait for 30 to 60 seconds and it should be working. It will say there's an estimated cost of $3 a month, but that's not actually true, it doesn't charge. Next, find where it says public IP address and copy whatever comes up. Next, we need to connect to the server through SSH. To do this, you either need to go to terminal, PowerShell or command prompt. This depends on whether you're on Mac or Windows. For purpose of this video, I'm using PowerShell because I'm on Windows, but if you're on Mac, then use Terminal. Next, you need to find your private key, copy it as path, then type ssh opc at your IP, dash i, and then paste in your key as shown. Next, click enter, and then congratulations, you've SSH'd into your server. Next, you're going to want to type sudo yum install jdk17 headless arc64. Finally, click y then enter to finish installing java. Next, you're going to want to go to one of three places. Firstly, I highly recommend Pufferfish Jar. It's the best one for performance. It only has these versions, unfortunately. If you'd like it, right click the latest build and click copy link. If you want to use a different version, I recommend using paper because it has good performance and lots of versions. To download paper, choose the version that you want. So for example, if I want 1.17, I click that, wait for the build to appear, right click on the download and click copy link. But otherwise just download it from the official Minecraft thing. If I'd like to use Minecraft, all I need to do is right click on download Minecraft server and click copy link. All the website links are in the description. Next, type wget and paste in the link that you got. Next, download the jar file from Pufferfish, Paper or Minecraft so that it's in your downloads folder. Type mv space and then paste in the name of the jar file click space and then server.jar. Click enter, then type the command java-xmx100g-xms100g-jar space server.jar space no GUI. It will say failed to load eula.txt, so type nano space eula.txt and click enter. Replace false with true. Next, click Control X, Y, and then enter to exit eula.txt. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to click on your subnet, wait for it to load, click on the default security list, add ingress rule, make it o.o.o.o slash o, and I recommend copying that, and then set the destination port range to 25565, Click add ingress rule, click add ingress rule again, switch the IP protocol to UDP and paste in the CIDR from before. Go to destination port range and select 25565 and click add ingress rule. 
Next, type in the following commands. All these commands will be in the description. It will run all the commands. Click enter to finish the last one. Hopefully they will all say success. Run the jar command one more time. To join your server, all you need to do is go to the multiplayer menu in Minecraft and, and put in your IP colon 25565. It is possible to add mods and data packs, but it's quite complicated. So if you'd like to learn how to do that, comment and like the video and I'll consider making a video about it.